So good morning. How have you all been? Hope you've been well. Hope you've had a nice week. Hopefully you're off this weekend after a long week at work and you're going to get out fishing. I know that I've been looking forward to it. Today I've come down to Hendon, Hendon Prom in Sunderland. And it's a very small tide today. I think it's something like a four metre three high, something like that. Um, I'm all set up to go. But the tide's not quite in far enough yet and I don't want to go down onto the beach so I'm just taking my time. Thought I'd do the intro now. Um, target today, not anything really. Um, whiting, flounder, coalfish, codlin, maybe a bass if we're lucky. The sea's not quite, there's not quite enough sea for the bass but um, you never know, we can always try for it. Yeah, so let's get cracking, see if we can get some nibbles. So I've only got one rod out at the moment, just testing the waters, so to speak, pardon the pun. Yeah, I've got a plain lead on there, letting it roll about, it's not a very big tide. But, um, it's quite a nice little roll on though. Still a little bit of a hump, there's nothing, no big swells or anything. At the moment, I've got quite, still got quite a bit of rock in front of us. Uh, high water is around about nine o'clock. It's currently about six, half six, I think. So I'm, hoping, I'm waiting for the water to come in a little bit, but I've put a line out anyway. Put one bait out there just to test it, see if there's any flounders close in. Put a bit of mackerel and squid on. Quite a nice morning. Winds south, breeze is about southeastly, I would say. Slightly coming across this way. But I'm hopeful. Let's see what we can get. So, baits for today. Got my usual um, ready made cocktails uh, squid and cart. Uh, got some bluey, uh, squid and I think that's squid and cart again I've got then some black rug, uh, some wraps, don't have any fresh worm with this and some mackerel strips so I'm hoping to get something today and I've got um, and I've got a flask full of frozen peeler as well, well not flask full but I've got a half a dozen frozen peeler to, to chuck out there and see what happens. Rigs for today guys I have some two hook loop rigs. Uh, ones obviously I've tied at home and I keep on these winders. Um, I've also got some two hook clipped up for the day for whiting, if there is any around. Uh, I think these are pretty much the same as here. I've got some three hook. I've got some three hook clipped as well, which I might use if it gets a bit scratchy. Bigger hooks on those. I've got the small hooks on the, the hook on the sorry on the loop rigs on the pattern are still too clipped clipped up um, I always find them handy to use these I don't know how you guys feel do you prefer these rig winders these days or are you old school and you you like the, the wallets a um, bit of a discussion on that maybe put some in the comments let us know what you think what's, what's the best these are the wallets for me these take up a little bit more space obviously um, but that, they're easy I can get the rigs quickly get them unwound get them on and when I finish at the end of the day put them back on, wrap them up, so let us know what you think though, box, winders or rig wallet, let us know guys. Well, it's time to put this second rod out now I think, the tide's coming in a bit. Uh, this is a two hook loop rig that I'm putting out here, and I think for the first one, I'm going to try this, I'm going to try I think we'll put a bit of, just a little bit of squid and cart on this one. I'm not putting big baits on at the moment, just want to see what, if anything's around. As I said earlier, I always prepare me baits at home if I can, so there's a bit of a clot on when you get here. It's 
be fair, I think I probably would have scored better with some fresh worm today, but I just don't get time. What, with work through the week, I can never get to a tackle shop and normally close by the time I'm finished, so it is what it is. And I don't live local to any tackle shops either. Right, this one, I think we're going to put some... Put a black on. Actually, I'll keep this bit smaller, so I'll break that in half. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to put the, the worm up like so. Let's put a little bit of... A little bit of macro on as well, eh? Should really be using my bait tool for this, but... I'm committed now. That's it. It's all good. Right, within this next couple of hours is when I expect, when I would expect fish. But we shall see. I'm not even sure if I was in shot there when I was beating up. I'm sorry if I wasn't. Actually managed to get the mics working today. Hopefully they're working anyway. Last few sessions out have been a bit of a disaster. They've not been the most exciting videos, to be honest. What can you do? I mean, I'm governed by work when I can go out fishing, and it's normally only the weekend. I don't have the the pleasure of getting midweek sessions, unless I take time off, of course. Which I shall be soon. That's ready. There's a grip lead on that one. Tolls over here. Right. This one's got a grip lead on, so we're going to be we're going to be planting this one down. Ready for takeoff. And it's away. Oops, sorry, I'm blinding everyone. That one's away. Okay, so that's both rods out now. Just need some fish. Man, you, the, it's a lovely sunset coming. I'll show, I'll show you actually. I'll let it spin you around. Yeah, look at that, chums. It's going to be nice, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Get you back on the rods, hopefully, there. There you go. So, no bites as yet. It's just starting to get light. Tide's coming in nicely. Hopefully we'll pick something up. Just to save a blank, if anything.
But I do hope you have been getting out, getting some fishing done. Hopefully catching some fish. Got a full year ahead of us again. Going through the motions. Um, get some flounder fishing done. Next month or two. Get the lures out. Hopefully get some nice, nice pollock. Then we'll be on to the, the mackerel for bait again this summer. I'm hoping to try and get across to the west coast uh, to do some ray fishing. That would be nice. That would be good for the channel, I presume. Everyone likes to see a bit of, bit of the rage. Yeah. Well, I'll see how it goes. I'll bring you back if anything happens. Sun's starting to come now. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can see, but some ominous clouds there in the background, guys. Lovely clear sky here, but it's looking a bit dodgy back there. It is forecast for rain later today, but I don't think it's still about three o'clock, but weather forecast never right, are there? Unfortunately, still no action yet. I'm very sorry, but there just isn't any action yet. still about two hours from top so there's still time I'll be fishing it up till top and then I'll probably be away anyway Starting to get a few small rattles now, but they are small rattles. But I'll take anything at the minute. Actually, a rocklin would be quite good to be fair. I think I've caught a rocklin for oof, probably about 10 years to be honest. So it'd be nice to see one. Because the tide's getting a little bit more pace on it now, it's coming up towards I was still in that hour and a half before before high water. That's what, now I'll start putting the good baits out, put some peeler crab baits out, etc. See if we can get some interest. There's still getting rattles on the right hand rod, actually. Let's check it's not the swell. I'm above the surf line, so I got the flappy rattles. I think that swell's picking up, to be honest. I keep seeing dead fish lying about, you know, there's loads of dead fish down there. I don't know what's gone on, but they'd left their bag of bait as well. There's a bag of bait and an empty um, Pepsi bottle, which could have been, I mean, there's a bin just about 40 yards away. Could have just put it in the bin, really. It's actually hard to tell if I'm getting little rattles on the surf because that's well, picked up a little bit. It's probably about two and a half, three foot swell there. There's a few other lads fishing now. We've got another two down the bottom end there. Well, it's lovely to be out. It's a lovely morning. Really nice. And catching a fish would be a bonus as well, but whether that happens or not, who knows? It's in the hand of the gods. 
But I hope everyone's been keeping well seriously and getting out as much as you can. Weather's not too bad this weekend, so I presume there'll be a lot of people fishing. Small tides though, but it doesn't really matter. It's just nice to get out, isn't it? And thank you to all the new subscribers lately. It's much appreciated, and the old, to be honest. Anyone who watches the videos is uh, brave, because I'm <laughs> not very exciting at the moment, but anyone who watches the videos, I really do appreciate it. It's very kind of you. Um, and if you can't see your way to pressing that subscribe button and liking, that would be great. And I also like to see your comments as well. It's nice to have a bit of chat on with fellow fishermen, you know. I'd like to know what's going on and what you think. I mean, uh, do, you, do you fish Hendon often? I don't. So if you do, tell me what the best times to fish this place. Um, I would presume when there's a bit of a sea running, but not too much at high water because of this promenade. But if you are regular at Hendon and you fish it a lot, let us know, give us some tips. I'm not sure if something is going on with that one. The line seems way above the surf. It may be catching. I'll tell you what, a little dab would be nice. I haven't had a dab for a while either. But at this juncture, anything would be nice. But as I said, it's lovely to be out. It's air's fresh. Smell the sea air, that's what it's all about. As I've said previously, this channel is just a vlog for me, really. It's not about anything. I don't need to get mega amount of subscribers, and I've, it's, it's not really my thing. I just, if you want to watch the videos, it's it's great. I really do appreciate it. It's nice. Um, but it's mainly just a vlog to, you know, when I'm infirm and I can't get out, I can look back and say, oh, I used to do that. There's an awful lot of um, YouTubers in the Northeast, to be honest. And it's difficult to put content together if you're aiming at an audience because everyone fishes the same mark, so it would, it would just be pretty boring, to be honest. I don't want to bore people. Um, so that's why I keep saying these are just my vlogs of where I fish. I don't, I don't go to fish for the videos. I just go fishing for myself and put the videos up in the hope that it might entertain you while you're eating your Sunday lunch or, you know, whatever. There's a telly, it's rubbish, isn't it? But yeah. Oh, there's a train there. But yeah, it's just about um, a diary, really, a fishing diary for myself. I don't get too precious about it. All right, so I'll bring you back if anything happens. Let's see if we've got anything on here. Nope. <laughs> Tell you that straight off. Don't actually know whether to go on to the three. The little three hook scratching rig, see if I can actually scratch something out because it's not looking promising at the moment. But these are the chances you take. You pick your marks, you take your chances. And I just fancied somewhere different, so. So it has had a go. Bottom hook. Yeah, bottom hook stripped. I don't know how this place has been fishing lately. Again, if you do fish here often, and you are watching this, uh, pop it in the comments, let us know when the best time to fish this is, or how it's been fishing over the past few weeks. Just so when I'm crying into my pillow tonight when I haven't caught anything, I know that it's not just my fault. I could eat that myself. I actually could, because I'm starving. That's all I think about the is food. I wonder if all fishermen are the same. Do we, do we just all think about our stomachs all the time? I don't know. Maybe it's just a man thing. So again, this one's the loop rig that I'm putting out. It's basically a clipped one up, one down. It's quite effective. I haven't had as many fish on this rig as I have on the straightforward one up one down clipped almost always clip me rigs for casting unless i'm just lobbing really short for flounder i just prefer the the bait to land 
and it's target in good condition, you know. I'm not chucking it a tremendous distance. Probably, probably about 100, 90, 100 yards. Again, I don't know. Don't fish this venue much, so I don't know how how much distance you actually need here. Is it is it a, is it a big chuck venue or I don't know. I have no idea. Right, so all we need is some fish, which I can hopefully bring you back with a fish. But let's see. Well, guys, it's an hour before top. It's not much happening. Had a few rattles. Small stuff. I haven't seen any other fish coming further down. There's about three, four gentlemen fishing down there. I haven't seen anything coming yet. So it's not looking promising at the moment, but I'm out and that's fishing. So we'll see what happens. I think the fish I'm getting rattles off are really small. I should really probably go onto the little scratching rig with the, the size sixes on just to pull something out, but uh, it's pointless. Oh, there's a nice rattle there. So I'm actually getting baits, just not connecting. So unfortunately, not the most exciting video at the moment. I do apologize, but it's fishing and uh, these things happen. I could have went into the river and probably got fish out, but I, I just fancied coming onto the shore. I was tempted to go to the rat house in Sunderland there, um, but it gets quite busy. I'm, a, I'm the type of angler who likes a bit of solitude, I like my own space, you know. Guys, we haven't blanked. We have not blanked. Excellent. Have a look at this. That little beauty. Hey, it's small, it's a coal fish, but it's not a blank, is it? Out of the moon, brilliant. Hey, there's something in there, small or not. They're greedy little buggers, aren't they? Let's get you back. Uh. There he's off. Crab, eh? And a waste of good crap, <laughs> but it's not a blank, so I'm chuffed. God, what's me fishing come to when I'm happy with that? That's seriously, I don't know. Well, it's pretty dire, but the sun's coming out and it's pretty. I'm trying everything here to try and get something decent out for you guys, but I just don't think there's anything in front of us to be honest, apart from small stuff. There's no depth whatsoever. And I think the only reason I found that little coley was um, obviously with a plain lead on, it's just rolling about. Probably found a little feature. But it's better than nothing, isn't it? So what I'm probably going to do, have a few more chucks, then I'm going to wrap it up. Uh, I may try and get out again. Try somewhere else, possibly tomorrow. Well, it'll have to be tomorrow, but I might try and get out and do try something else. But uh, unless anything exciting happens, I think that'll be it. I'll, I'll bring you back if I catch anything else, but uh, I don't think so. But as usual, I'd like to say thank you very much for tuning in and watching the, the video. Very kind of you. If you could kindly subscribe to the channel and perhaps even think, leaving a comment, tell us what you think. Is it any good? Is it is it not what you like? Would you like to see something different? I mean, I do do the fly fishing as well, which I will be filming, but um, at the moment I'm just doing a bit of sea fishing. 
So it'll be a bit, bit, of, bit of all, really, in the flight time, as well as I've said in previous videos. But, um, yeah, it's, it's really nice when I get comments, so I can have a chat with you, see, uh, see what you're up to, see what you, advice you can give me for the marks I've been fishing, like today. As I say, it's not my mark, this. Um, all through most of my fishing career, I've fished north with being based in Newcastle, but I don't live in Newcastle anymore. So I'm exploring the south side a bit more. But um, yeah, let me know what you think. If you've been to this venue and you've fished it and when it's produced more, when it's when it's a better, what, what tides, etc. You know, the whole thing. But as I say, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I hope you have a fantastic weekend and I'll catch you soon. Take care now.